from the semi-deciduous forest of Mexico to the farmlands and cities of North America. Learn how successful beekeepers overcome challenges and develop sustainable practices to improve the quantity and the quality of bees. Reducing the population, taking the varroa mite pressure off the honeybees is really, I think, central to a successful um, pest management plan. Uh, every, every year we have courses on beekeeping um, for honeybees and also for stingless bees. Uh, a power plant is a plant that is very attractive to bees, to, to not just honey bees, but to all bee species. And that is one that provides also a, uh, an excellent source of nectar and pollen. We think that uh, we've got a great f future in terms of agriculture, in terms of small scale agriculture. Um, when you're able to go back to the days where you have the bees and the cattle and, uh, and, and a mixed type of agriculture, uh, you get a lot better production uh, than the, uh, what you might call the industrial farming. And so uh, I'm quite happy that uh, we're seeing an expansion of small-scale agriculture in, in Canada and around the world today because I think that's the way we're going to feed uh, future generations. All of, of the, the local honeybees now have uh, Africanized genes in them. But these Africanized bees, man, sometimes it seems like they just chase you down. We haven't uh, really seen any decrease or substantial decrease. 